Hello everyone, back again on the Eyes Military Channel. The F-117 Nighthawk, a Native American stealth aircraft with a particularly sinister appearance, is an example of a weapons system that was designed within the limitations imposed by promising new technologies. The Nighthawk was revolutionary when it entered service in 1983. Not many can appreciate that, because the plane was kept secret from the public for five years. When Lockheed unveiled its first two prototypes in 1977, the angular plane looked like nothing it had seen before or since. Later stealth designs such as the B-2 Spirit and F-35 have curved surfaces. However, the F-117 was designed before there were sophisticated computers with the ability to calculate such curved surfaces. Thus, the F-117 itself among stealth aircraft is distinguished by its two-dimensional design. These imposed constraints meant the design was aerodynamically unstable and required an advanced combat computer combined with quadruple redundant fly-by-wire controls to keep up and keep the aircraft in a flyable condition. The Have Blue prototype earned the nickname Goblin Goblin and the two crashed during the testing process. The Air Force remained driven by their effectiveness and avoidance of radar detection and granted permission to manufacture the production aircraft designated the F-117. Using a model number over 100 is an anachronism, and for years it was commonly assumed that the top secret stealth fighter was given the F-19 designation. For this reason, you can find 1980S-era F-19 model kits, toys, and even computer games. The first F-117A rolled off the production line in 1981. In all 64 were built through 1990, including five YF-117 prototypes at a program cost of $111 million per aircraft. The production aircraft's handling is reportedly more forgiving than its predecessors. In addition to its reflective surface, the Nighthawk incorporates other design features now standard in stealth aircraft, including the use of magnetically charged radar-absorbing iron balls to reduce the reflection of electromagnetic waves. The slit-shaped F-117 exhaust port for the F-404 turbofan engine minimizes the infrared signature of the exhaust. The communications antenna can be retracted to reduce radar signature, while the weapons, both, are stored in the internal bomb bay. The Nighthawk didn't carry a radar, because radar at that time was easy to detect. Obviously, the F-117 was invisible to the eye, so it was painted black and flown exclusively at night. Despite the F designation for fighter, the F-117 is purely a ground attack aircraft with no capability to engage other aircraft in combat. Its maximum speed of 623 miles per hour meant it was slightly slower than the B-52 bomber. Its 1070 mile range means relying on aerial refueling. It's not always easy to manage a stealth aircraft at night. It was the first aircraft designed and built as a low, stable, and therefore precise observable platform 
said Yancey Mails, History and Museum Program Director for Air Force Material Command at Wright-Patterson AFB Ohio, and former F-117 maintainer. It is the marriage of the GBU-27 to the F-117 which has a laser pointer on its nose that makes it a very precise and lethal platform, said Mails. That was best demonstrated during Operation Desert Storm when pilots sneaked into Iraq and dropped weapons into the elevator shaft of a central communications building in Iraq. The Nighthawk's internal weapons bay limits it to only two bombs. Although to make up for this, they are generally very large precision-guided two 000-pound laser-guided bombs. Given these parameters, the Nighthawk has a very specific mission to fly unseen into the heart of enemy air defenses and take out critical targets. 